Ah! <laughs> How's everybody doing? <laughs> oh dear, I'm not laughing too exuberant too because it's a little cold in here. It's a little cold. You know, um, um we are going to now um yeah, low battery, yeah. You know, it's Saturn. Like it, the best thing I can do is manage it. Get this done uh, all day, and you know having the battery saving all day, and it wasn't working out. You know, I mean, what can you do? I mean, you, you, that, I mean you, what can you do? Uh, you have to manage it. That's all you can do is manage it. Now I'm trying to find the. Um, the uh, volume here okay and here we go okay all right how is everybody doing <laughs> uh, it's been very very i've been very very um, busy taking care of situations and taking care of um many readings a lot of you I'm doing a lot of readings and uh, preparing the paid subscription for many of you. Uh, preparing also um, the classes in astrology. You all know I run a school of astrology, but because of our COVID-19, I have not been promoting the school. And you know I have a few students I'm running the school that I'm going to start them over again. I'm not going to mention their names because I don't have the permission to mention their names. But I'm going to have them restart the class again, you know, because it, it just disrupted the curriculum time. So, you know, giving you some news, giving you some updates, right? There is also um, the, the condition of the Super chart and smart chat. Now, I love you, Abracadabra. I don't know who you are, if it's a man or woman. Thank you very much for what you wrote about everybody paying $8 and getting the paid subscription. Thank you so much. If, if, if I had all of you paying that and being involved in that, it, it would take care of so many things. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now this is um actually this is this is water 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 uh fruit you got mangoes you got pineapple yes i did a little um sangria later but you know you gotta drink a little water and hydrate yourself with some fruits so this is what i'm doing oh the beat is my rivera rico <laughs> Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Let's start. Oh, wow. Uh, oh. You know, every day feels like it's a party. Every day feels like it's um Saturday or Sunday, you know. Because because no one is working and no one is um, taking care of business. You know, the country is at a standstill. Well, they're opening the country back up. I have my reservations and my concerns. And I will be doing a video separately concerning the COVID-19. Because I don't want you guys to be out there. Because, well, it has to be a separate video. But today, we are beginning a new series. We're beginning a new series. And this series, hey everybody, how are you? Yes, cha-cha-cha. Ah! <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, we have a new series, guys. We got a new series, Jupiter. Now, before I talk about the planet Jupiter, I got to talk about the other planets because I don't you know when you pay for a professional birth chart 
I do go into the history and the you know the the mythology of the planets and the signs. And I say this in a lot of my videos. You all know that, but sometimes it has to be repeated. Sometimes it has to be repeated. It so it can sink in and make sense. Uh, the moon, you know, the sun and the moon, it's a family. You have to understand of the axiom, as above, so below. The sun and the moon represents the mother and the father. The sun is the father principle or the masculine archetype principle. The mother, the feminine principle, is represented by the moon. The moon rules the feminine aspect of nature and the sun rules the masculine aspect of nature. Just like we have a father and a mother. They as above, so below. Yo soy pa. Rati, I para ti, yo no soy para ti. I'm sorry. It caught me. It just grabs me. <laughs> okay. So understand that there is a paradigm that is repeated on the earth plane that symbolizes and reflects the truth of the heavens. The sun is the father. The moon is the mother. Venus, Mars, Mercury represent the siblings. Just like we have brothers and sisters, so too are their siblings up in the heavens. The sun and the moon are the parents, and the siblings are Mars, Venus, and Mercury, which are the inner planets. Okay? Just like we have brothers and sisters down below from our parents, as above, so below. Yo soy pa, para ti, yo no soy bonita, yo no soy para ti, yo no soy para ti. <laughs> and I'm not even drinking. <laughs> it's just, you know, oh, you don't know me. My Jupiter in Leo. <laughs> so, um. And we're going to get to, of course, Jupiter and Leo. And I try not to go overboard since, you know, it's the height of a little, little bit of narcissism. <laughs> just, just a scotch. <laughs> okay. Um, then you have Jupiter and Saturn. Saturn is the father he's the father and he has several children but the one that is the king of the king of the king of the gods you know so uranus the planet Uranus is the great grandfather. He is the father of Saturn. And Saturn has four children. Jupiter. Neptune. Pluto. The brothers. Venus. And Mercury are the uh, siblings. And when uh, what had happened was, let me tell you, what had happened was that Saturn, and this is something that is still under a call investigation, decided to commit patricide. Patricide meaning that he castrated the genitals of Uranus. And the genitals fell into the ocean. And from the ocean sprung Venus. 
the castration of the of the god Uranus caused the planet to flip and orbit on its sideways. The reason why Uranus is the only planet in the solar system that rotates sideways. It's not on a platform like all the other planets. It's on a it's standing on the poles. Cosmologists don't understand why this is the case with the planet Uranus. But if we talk to occultists, a lot more went on than what is being said in science. And mythology, of course, waters beautiful allegories of what really happened. I mean, come on, no planet has genitals that you cut and then it springs out. This is it's an acronym, they're allegories. Something else occurred. A destruction of the inner core of the base of the planet's engine, which is unknown in cosmology concerning Uranus, caused the planet to tilt and rotate on the polar axis. This did not just occur with Uranus. It occurred with another planet that was in between Jupiter and Mars. That planet exploded, imploded, but there were other things going on too. And I, we cannot discuss that here. The only reason why the planet Uranus did not implode or explode is because it's a gas giant. Uranus, Neptune, Jupiter, Saturn, these are gas giants. They're not like concrete solid matter like Mars, Mercury, Venus. Venus has a lot of volcanic activity. Venus was a planet of love and beauty. Venus. The planet Venus is a very horrible place. There's explosions and volcanoes and lava and all kinds of stuff going on there. And even then, the life form is living there. So, getting back to the family. So Saturn, for reasons that we cannot discuss here, when, goes out, kills his own father, Uranus, and then goes out to kill the rest of of his own children. The one that, and so what happened? He swallowed more and all of them for the exception of Jupiter, Zeus, because uh, I believe it was Hera, uh, one of the goddesses uh, uh, depicted by the asteroids, put a big rock inside Saturn's mouth. So Saturn could not eat Jupiter. Even then, Jupiter was lucky. Saturn ate all the other children except for Jupiter. Jupiter was taken into a mountain and he was raised. That's why Mount Olympus is the symbol for Jupiter, the mountain. He was taken and rescued from Saturn, who was out on a killing spree, killing all of his children, devouring all of his children. Eventually, he rose against Saturn. He grew up and rose against Saturn. This is the story of Hercules and Perseus and Pegasus. And he fought against Saturn and pushed Saturn into the outer remnants of space where he is to this very day. And now and Jupiter has become the king of the gods and is the protector of our solar system against our own gods and those of foreign gods of other stars and solar systems. This is the truth. And mythology tells us this truth in a very complex way. Let's take a beat on that. Let that sink in. Will I drink my uh, water? Uh, you know, it's water. It's, it's not alcohol. It's 100% water with uh, fruits. A little bit infused, though, with a little bit of, you know, spirits, though. <laughs> uh, let us sink in. What questions do you have? That Libra and Jupiter. Kronos. That's right. Kronos. You all know the story. If you're not, Google it. Praise Jupiter. Jupiter was a lucky mother. Poo, poo, poo. Even then he was lucky. Because Saturn devoured all the other um, planets. But then when the rock was turned by one of the, the goddesses, all of the other planets came out. And then they all revolted against Saturn. And pushed that motherfucker into the outer of space. Where he rules to this day. Saturn has 64 moons. A mysterious planet. Mm.
Let's t- let's let that sink in. Oh, I can feel the spirit. Mm, mm. I gotta take out this out because the vibration of Jupiter is so strong. I can't even listen to the music. It's strong, and I gotta carry my stock, which is also symbolic of Jupiter. Uh huh. Okay. Symbolic. This. Is symbolic, the staff of authority. This is symbolic of Jupiter, and it's also symbolic of Leo, the king. These who hold, and of course, I'm wearing the red, which is also a symbol of Jupiter with white. It that it varies from different cultures. So Jupiter has been ordained the greater benefactor. He's been. Uh, he is the God that will protect us, shower us with gifts and benevolence. Wherever Jupiter falls in the horoscope, in the birth chart, is where you're going to experience fortune, blessings, prosperity. Of all kinds. But there is a science to understanding Jupiter now. Yeah, there is. Some of your questions. Hi, Fernando. Light button. <laughs> uh, a good book to read is Mythology by Edith Hamilton. Yes, I have that book. Very good book. Very good book. A f- fantastic book. Okay. Now. Let us discuss, uh, well, uh, before I go into Jupiter in the signs, it's important that I discuss that Jupiter serves three functions in the birth chart. Jupiter uh, offers protection. That's number one. Number two, he offers wisdom and knowledge of philosophy but by opening doors for you, for you to learn them in a very passive way. And then the other aspect of Jupiter is that he creates, and this is a little bit more complex to explain, Uh, He creates fusion. Wherever Jupiter falls in the horoscope, or wherever in the horoscope he falls, is where you're going to experience fusion. Fusion is another word for synthesis, where everything comes together. Everything becomes consolidated and realized. And this happens once every 12 years. You have a... uh, Love you all back. Love you all back. Jupiter has a cycle of 12 years. 12 years. So, when you were age 12, you had your first Jupiter cycle. When you were age... 24, <coughs> you were at your second cycle, a Jupiter cycle. When you're age 36, that's another cycle, 48, 60. So that means that at age 12, at age 24, take notes now. 36, age 48, age 60, and age 72. You are going to experience Jupiter cycles. It is in these cycles that you are going to experience prosperity and good luck. If you are in a bad situation, by the time you reach your your Jupiter return, whether it's 24, 36, it might take it away. You might be poor or might have money problems, and by the time you reach these ages, boom, something happens, and you got money or you got prosperity. There is a timing sequence 
and a timing mechanism involved here. This is not just true of Jupiter. This is true of all the other planets as well. I just didn't discuss the cycles of each of them. But each of the planets have a cycle. And depending on the cycle of these planets and your age determines what cycle you're in and if, it, if it's bringing you the type of reward that it should bring. Now, the only exception to this rule is when the planets go retrograde. And if you were born with Jupiter retrograde, it's a possibility that there will be a delay in your blessings and in your gifts. Okay? So, understand that, okay, you just turned 36 back in March. Go back to age 24 and study and analyze what happened to you and what you went through at age 24 that was positive and good and it was a blessing. Then go backwards to age 12. Maybe you were too young to receive the benefit of Jupiter, but your parents might have. And, in, and in, in by default, you get the blessings. This is how you study the cycles. And all of the planets have cycles, minor and major cycles. Jupiter awards us a major cycle. Okay? You getting that? Very good. Guys, donate to... Um, the People's Astrologer, not the People's Astrologer, but well, it is, but you know, www.paypal.me slash the People's Astrologer or Maddie Love 711. Both of those um, um, links you can use, okay? And uh, because it's paid content. And I love the idea of um, all of you paying, paying the $8 a month paid content. I am putting that together. Uh, pretty soon you all will be doing all of that and then I can just focus on the birth chart bookings and also the paid content because it is a lot of work. <laughs> That's why you see me very frequent, not as frequent because I'm compiling the, the content, you know, and as end of end, don't forget that I also have content on medium.com. Uh, you need to download the app, download the app and you get to read my PhD thesis you all know I go to Columbia University where I'm ordering my courses in cultural anthropology. I've been doing this for five years. And in these treaties, I write some very powerful stuff that I cannot discuss on the air. So download the app, Medium, and you look look me up, um, Anthropological Series. And I have all of my dissertations there. And I am also compiling some more. And it should be uh, written in another two or three days. It's a lot of work, which is why you're paid donation helps me cover costs, you know, eat, drink, and, and pay rent, and all that kind of stuff, so I appreciate you giving that, because that helps me to then be focused on providing the content for you that you're not going to get anywhere else. Uh, yes. Now, having said that, uh, another thing i got to talk about uh, Jupiter is that there is a negative aspect to Jupiter. If Jupiter has squares from the midheaven or squares from the planets, that can also devalue or water down the influences of Jupiter. If there are squares and oppositions or if there are hard aspects to Jupiter, there may be a delay in your blessings and gifts. And if that's the case, then there is a karmic condition going on that may explain why this is happening. So please, uh, uh, and for that, you have to have your chart done professionally to see where you might uh, have a little bit of karma, where you might need to um, maybe pay a little penance before you get your rewards. Okay? So, thank you guys. Thank you guys so much. Um, thank you. I know I said I don't need to explain, but you know, I love you guys. I care about you guys. I want you guys to also protect yourself. The government is going to open up the country. Do not go to the beaches. Do not go out and, and act like this is normal because there are more people dying. Uh, the powers that be are not yet finished in doing their genocidal work.